Hi! Welcome to Something to Talk About. My name is Taco, and today I'm going to bring you something new. Bring you something weird. I've had this thought for a long time, and I pitched it to my buddy Barrett, who helped me with some of the artwork. The good stuff. You're going to see all the good artwork. <laughs> he gave me one one piece of good artwork, and it's going to overshadow all the really bad artwork I'll have for you today. Um, today, I decided to mash... Uh, two of my loves, and I've done this before, right? I've mashed loves. <laughs> that sounds dirty. I'm mashing Game of Thrones and Pokemon. So I've done this before with every uh, Song of Ice and Fire monsters Pokemon type, but this is going to be a little different, right? So I'm not doing a Song of Ice and Fire as a giant hole. It's kind of giant hole uh, as a whole. It's more going to be just like Game of Thrones, m more or less the TV show. And I'm going to combine it to make it a Pokemon game. The idea was like, explore a, what if it was Westeros was the map, right? But then I'm like, why don't I just write a whole walkthrough? So this is more like a Gen 1 to Gen 4 Pokemon game. And if Game of Thrones was a Gen 1 to Gen 4 Pokemon game, I'm not really going to use a lot of Pokemon because, you know, it wouldn't be using, it would have its own Gen so I was kind of thinking of just combining this one with my last one and bring in Pokemon that I had. But I'm just, I'm taking that out of it. Didn't want to make it too complicated. So this is going to be a walkthrough of a, a game, right? So you starter all the way to the champion. And I, I, I hope you guys are going to like it. So if you've never been here before, please like, subscribe, do all that YouTube junk. And remember, I do all these in one long, ranting, improv field take. I got I got some words that'll show you guys, and you'll see how much I'm not going to follow them, but, but we'll try. So, yeah, let's just do it. So, this is if Game of Thrones was a Pokemon game, and I took out all of the not Pokemon aspects. What do I mean by that? Well, the murder, the death... In the incest. So everything that makes Game of Thrones Game of Thrones, I'm not using any of it, right? This is kid friendly. This is a Pokemon game. The, the the most evil you get there is Giovanni, and the dude like isn't that bad, right? Um so here we go, and you're gonna see my amazing art. <laughs> I went to art school, guys. Okay, so what if Game of Thrones is a Pokemon game? It's my fantastic <laughs> art and it's only gonna get better um new trainer so this would be your trainer if you you know when you you pick male or female in this game so if you choose a male uh you're gonna be Jon Snow and if you choose a female you're gonna be Arya Stark and it, it, the game starts with you being sent to Dorne and you get off on a boat in Dorne like I said it's not gonna this isn't gonna follow Game of Thrones right this is a very large departure, <laughs> extremely large departure from the source material. If anything, this is inspired by Game of Thrones. You take away all the murder, the incest, and everything, you kind of have to start from scratch. So you're starting off in Sunspear, so you just got off the boat in Dorne. And Sunspear in your first gym, <laughs> so the trainer can explore the outskirts of the desert where they uh, they battle wild ground Pokemon and trainers. Then they battle at the Water Gardens where they eventually meet the first gym leader, which is Oberyn Martell, the poison-type gym leader. After you beat Oberyn, he tells you that the Starks will be allies in upcoming wars and gives you passage to a ship to Old Town. So that's the first, you know, it's nothing really going on yet. You get there, you train a little bit. Oberon's probably gonna have level 10 or less, maybe level 12 at most, you know, poison Pokemon. He's the Red Viper, right? So I made his gym poison typed. Now there's the amazing map and it following the red line, we're gonna go from Sunspear to Old Town all on a boat, right? So you're not surfing. So the boat is full of trainers, which you can, you know, fight a couple trainers. And at the end of it, you get the Rock Smash HM. So it unlocks items that are back in Sunspear if you want to take the boat back. And going forward, there's going to be Rock Smash. Like, ways to get items. It's not really blocking any real routes or anything. 
Um, once in Old Town, you can fight your way through the citadel of psychic Pokemon and uh, dark crow Pokemon, right? Um, at the top of the citadel, the Archmaester tells you about the others attacking. So I say others, White Walkers, right? Others are White Walkers. I use a lot of more of the book terminology, but yeah, the White Walkers are attacking. And then he uh, he releases, uh, what it says, he realizes you need to bring all the gyms together. Okay, so think of it like kind of like the Sprout Tower in Johto. You fight your way up this tower, and then at the end you fight the main Maester, the Arc Maester. And then afterwards he says, you need to get all the gyms together. So the gym leaders, or the lords, if you will, although not, I mean, Oberyn Martell is not a lord. Most of the gym leaders I got are not actually lords of that area, but they represent them. You know, they're gym leaders. So after you defeat them, you ask them to help against the fight for the others. There's your storyline. Now, <laughs> High Garden, <laughs> the second gym. <laughs> Please, I hope you guys are loving this art. Uh, take the Rose Road up to High Garden. Wild Grass Pokemon on the way, and trainers at High Garden. You battle Olena Martel Tyrell, Olena Tyrell, the second gym leader in the Grass type gym. After the gym, Olena pledges to help the others. You hear word that Robert Baratheon has died, and Daenerys has taken the throne. No war, just takes the throne. Love it. Uh, and then you fight with your rival. So your rival is going to be, if you are John, your rival is going to be Arya. If you're Arya, your rival is going to be John, right? And that's it. Both of you guys are doing the same thing. You're both sent here from Ned Stark, and you both have to defeat the gyms and join everybody, right? So you fight your rival after you uh, you leave, or as you're leaving uh, High Garden. So next, you have to take the route from. High Garden up and then over to the Stormlands. So the Rose Road takes you north, and the pass to Castle Rock is blocked by a cuttable tree. So you can't go to Castle Rock yet. You got to learn cut first, right? Spoke on. So instead, you head towards the Stormlands. So you make it all the way to Stormlands, but you could go north to King's Landing. But a, the uh, uh, route. Oh, wait. I said there's a lot. Yeah, the, there's a really long route, and there is a cabin to heal halfway grass and electric type trainers and then you can't go north because a large group of people for robert's funeral prevents you from going north to king's landing see remember i gotta i gotta pigeonhole you for a bit you can't you can't explore the whole map so uh big funerals preventing you going north to king's landing <laughs> i like this one a lot storms end in the third gym so once you're in storms End, the walls are locked you know, because they like to do that at Storm's End. There's a lot of sieges at Storm's End. So you have to defeat Davos Seaworth at the port. And then after you do, you convince him to smuggle you into Storm's End, right? <laughs> Once you're in Storm's End, Stannis says that he will not join against the fight against the others. And he will fight Daenerys for the throne. So you have to battle Stannis Baratheon, who has electric type Pokemon. He's your electric gym, and then after he ba uh, the battle, he after you beat him, he agrees to open his gate and helps. Then agrees to help and not try to take the throne. God, that wouldn't that have been easy. <laughs> so we're avoiding the war. So now you have uh, Stannis on your side, and Davos afterwards gives you the surf hm so now you have the surf hm you have the rock smash hm and the surf hm so what can you do with the surf hn you can now surf back to sun spear and then you can surf to old town remember last time you did these this route you were on a boat so now you're gonna actually have trainers you can fight this time um then you surf up to old town again and the water and electric trainers some random guy says he's thirsty <laughs> and you give him water and he gives you the cut HM. <laughs> right? Doesn't that not feel like early gen? Somebody's just like, oh, I'm thirsty. And you're like, here's some fresh water. And he's like, here's the really important item. <laughs> okay, so now you can head up to Castle Rock, right? Um, I know I already showed you this one, but I, yeah. 
Okay, so now you got the Sea Road and Casterly Rock. So you head north from High Garden and use Cut to go north uh, on the Sea Road. Sea Road, and you can battle wild normal slash cat themed Pokemon. Right, you're in the Westerlands. There's lions, so there's gonna be not just normal Pokemon, but if there are dark Pokemon that are cat themed, you're gonna fight cat themed Pokemon and normal Pokemon. Uh, Lannisport is a huge city with the department store, and some dude gives you an Eevee. <laughs> it's your city! You know, your goldenrod, you got your department store, that's what Lannisport is. And you get an Eevee here. Why? Well, eh, why not? Because <laughs> this is what it gives you an Eevee. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, Tywin refuses to join forces, so uh, you uh, beat the fourth gym, which is Tywin, and it is normal typed uh, when he, yeah, so he still refuses after you beat him. So uh, he gets overthrown by his sons, Jamie and Tyrion. And Tyrion becomes the leader. And then afterwards, he pledges to help you and he gives you the fly HM. So now you have fly too. Now Tyrion is in charge of, uh, he's now the gym leader of Castle Rock. So he can now help you, right? So. Uh, Still, you're gaining everybody, and then the guys who will not pledge to help against the White Walkers, you can replace them, or they get replaced. So now we're headed over to the Iron Islands. So the Iron <laughs> that picture gets me. It works so well. Uh, you fight your rival in Lannisport before you leave, and then you surf from Lannisport to the Iron Islands. Then it, you have to defeat... You're on Greyjoy and his still Pokemon at the fifth gym, and he pledges to help the others instead of you. So he's joining the White Walkers. Because it's Euron Greyjoy. That's kind of more of a book kind of Euron, right? He's kind of on the bad side. I know the movie or the TV version, he's like, I'm gonna go put my blank in a blank and stuff, but uh, he's, he, I'm, I don't like that Euron. I don't like show Euron. So this is more book Euron. He's going to then just go, not that he does this in the book, but there's a lot of fan theories that he wants to help the others. He's going to go and help the others in this. Because remember, simplify Pokemon. Uh, he then sails north and Theon becomes the leader on Pike. Theon is not re Reek in this universe. There is no Ramsey Bolton. Repeat. In the Pokemon game, there is no Ramsey Bolton. <laughs> uh, Theon then pledges to help the other fighters. And he also gives you the Strength HM. Look at you moving. You got all these HMs now. So uh, now you got to go back to Castle Rock, back to Lannisport, and then you go north through the River Road and the hills and a cave called the Crag. And I know that the crag in the books is not a cave, but this is Pokemon, and I need caves, dang it. So we have our first real cave. Uh, you will need it. Yeah, you will need to solve strength rock puzzles to get through this cave. So you just got strength from Theon, and then you have to doo -doo -doo, move things to get through this cave. Uh, you fight ground, rock, and water Pokemon through the crag and over the rivers, because you are going through, you know, the Riverlands right now. And then you make your way to River Run. And the gym leader here is Brendan Blackfish. So you surf to River Run uh, inside of a river with whirlpools blocking you from going further east. So you can't go further past River Run because there are whirlpools. So you battle trainers until you battle... Brendan Blackfish Tully, who's the water type gym leader. And then after you beat him, he then pledges. So now you got another, you know, now you have your, your next gym leader pledge. And then you battle your rival, and your rival gives you the Whirlpool HM. So you can now use that HM to get past River Run and go that way. Go that way. You can't go north yet. Uh, now... <laughs> I kind of had fun with this one. So you head down the river road, you battle trainers, and you calm the trident, more whirlpool, whirlpools, to pass it, and then you get to the inn at the crossroads. In the inn at the crossroads, you will learn that you need to stop the curse at Heron Hall. So you battle ghosts uh, and trainer, ghost trainers. So you battle ghost Pokemon, ghost type Pokemon, and also 
in the undead ghost trainers that throw up Pokemon, which I thought was cool. Until you get to the ghost of Heron the Black in Heron Hall in his Pokemon. After you defeat the ghost of Heron the Black, he lifts the curse of Heron Hall, and then the end at the crossroads lets you pass. Tell me you love that as much as I do, right? You get to solve the curse at Heron Hall. Now we're headed to the Eerie. <laughs> the Mountains of the Moon and the Eerie. So there's a cave section through the Mountains of the Moon and the Bloody Gate. Again, I have to add cave sections because Pokemon. Then the Snowy Journey to the Eerie. So you will fight some Ice Pokemon here too, which is cool. So you um, fight through in order to fight Sweet Robin, who is the seventh gym leader. You have to fight the Winged Knights. Because in the latest book, actually in the book that's not out yet, he wants to uh, crown seven knights as his winged knights. So I, you just have to fight these winged knights. So he'll have seven winged knights that you have to fight through in order to get to Sweet Robin. Who is it? Your flying type gym leader. So Sweet Robin, uh, Aaron, Robin, Robert Aaron, whatever you want to call him, is the seventh gym leader and he has flying type moves. After you defeat him, he pledges to help. So then we can move back. So now you get to go back down. You can go to Gold Town, too, if you just want to go check out Gold Town. I'm not going to have much there. It's just Gold Town. Um, you head back to River Run. You learn that the Freys have turned on the Tullys, so you head north to the Twins. So once you head north to the Twins, you defeat the Freys in their weasel-themed Pokemon. So they let you over the bridge. You continue the long trip all the way to Winterfell. You can't turn to White Harbor yet, but you can make it all the way up to Winterfell. So Winterfell, White Harbor, and Dragonstone. So all the gym leaders meet you in Winterfell, but Ned Stark, the final gym leader, will not fight you yet. You need to defeat the others first. So he sends you back down to Dragonstone in order to get Dragonglass, an item uh, that you need in order to defeat the Night King. So you travel back south to White Harbor, and then Davo Seaworth, again, because he's my boat guy, takes you all the way to Dragonstone, and then you can defeat or catch the legendary, a legendary dragon Pokemon so you can catch it or you just defeat it. And then by either catching it or defeating it, you are in the Dragon Glass. And that's the only way that you're going to be able to defeat the Night King. So then you take Davos back up to Winterfell. Or you can walk all the way. The no, no, wait, never mind. You can't because the passage to King's Landing is still not open. So then you have to take it all the way back to White Harbor. So we're getting there, guys. We've just got a couple slides left. So uh, now you're at Winterfell. Yep. So uh, you, oh, did I skip one? Here it is, boom. The wall. So you travel with the gym leaders up to Winterfell, or from Winterfell all the way up to the wall and you battle wild ice and ghost Pokemon and undead trainers with ghost Pokemon. Once at the top of the wall, you, uh, you battle with others with ice Pokemon and at the top of the wall, you do a rematch with Euron Greyjoy, which is going to be really tough. And then you battle the Night King. There he is. Look at my Night King. He looks great. Yeah. So then that's your big taking down Giovanni, your big moment, right? You have to take down the Night King and uh, Euron again. And then once you do that, everything solves. So that's why all the gym leaders gathered to help you with that. So then you can go back to Winterfell and get your final gym badge. So after the Triumph at the Wall, you travel back south to Winterfell and battle with the final gym, Ned Stark, and his Ice Gym. After you receive, after that, you receive a Raven inviting you to visit King's Landing to fight the Elite Four and the Champion, aka the Queen in her court. So this is my Elite Four. <laughs> <laughs> so now you can finally make it to King's Landing. So you can travel all the way down, or however you want to get there. Passage from uh, Dragonstone to King's Landing is open now, too. So you could visit the entire map if you want. So down at King's Landing, you need to fight very strong, strong trainers 
through the red keep. So think of this as my victory road. So the red keep itself is my victory road and you have to fight a bunch of trainers until you make it to the throne room. And at the throne room, you can heal your Pokemon before you go in, whatever you want. And uh, yeah, and that's when you're entering this fight. So think once you go into the throne room, it's just like classic, like Elite Four, Elite Four, Elite Four, you know, all the way through so you don't get to heal yourself again once you go into the throne room. So yeah, so once you, there you go. And, and once you enter the throne room, you can't get out. So this, this is my Elite Four. We got Varus with Psychic Pokemon, Littlefinger with Dark Pokemon, Barristan Selmy with Fighting Pokemon, and then Cersei Lannister with Fire Pokemon. That's my Elite Four. So I made sure that the Elite Four types do not overlap with uh, the eight gyms, right? So that's your Elite Four. I know Cersei's somehow helping Danny, but yeah, there's no, there's no war. <laughs> it's good. It's all help. It's a happy, it's a happy world. <laughs> Very unrealistic. And then your champion queen. On the top of the Iron Throne, Daenerys Targaryen battles you, and she has dragon-type Pokemon. So once you defeat her, you become the king or the queen. The ending is happy. No one dies. No incest. No war. There you go. That's it. You, did you fight Danny at the end? That's your champion. Dragon-type Pokemon. Classic champion type, right? So that's if... Game of Thrones was a child-friendly, inspiring a Pokemon game, right? Like, again, this doesn't follow the plot of, of Game of Thrones or the books. It's more of a classic Pokemon game, heavily inspired by Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a fun exercise, something I really wanted to do for a while. Uh, give a special thanks to, to Barrett for this amazing map he, he got me, he made. And it, yeah, so if you don't know, Barrett is running my Pokemon D20 uh, game here on my channel. So if you haven't watched the first, I think we're just filmed our ninth episode and that should be out before this comes out. So you can go watch the first nine episodes. <sighs> Thank you for watching. Please like, like, subscribe and, you know, catch them all with fire and blood. How do you combine a <laughs> Game of Thrones thing? Remember... <laughs> Winter is coming, and you got to catch it all. <laughs> Thank you for watching.